few days ago, I went to my local pawn shop to try and find items to sell for a profit on eBay. And I came across this large lot of 150 Marvel comic books. Now guys, Marvel comic books isn't something that I know too well. Actually, I don't know anything about them at all, but they were priced at $5 each, and I thought that that might've been something that I could've worked with if I could've bought all 150 for a reduced price. So I asked the store manager. Thanks, mate. Happy to take a price off you. Yeah. Wouldn't be able to do obviously five a piece, but no, no. yeah, happy to work with you. What you guys didn't see before this conversation took place is the fact that I spent two hours in this pawn shop sifting through every single comic to try and find a full allocation. I found a total of three out of eight for Secret Invasion. There was this one right here as well, Frontline. I ended up finding a five out of a total of six copies, and if it was complete, it was to sell for about $30. Uh, this one here though was really good. This was World War Hulk. I had a total of four out of five copies for a complete set, and a complete set was going for about $150. So that made me think I could get between sort of 80 to 100 for a partial set. And there were some really good individual comics as well. This Dark Avengers, I also found Raging Hulk as well for about $20 worth of value, but this was the best of the bunch. This one was going for about $105, graded for over $1,200, but I was really curious on a price for everything. I thought about $2.60, which was about $400. $400. Yeah. 350 I'll do 250 each, and that's 375. Jeez, it's a gamble, eh? <laughs> do you reckon? 100%. Even if you do the same as us, you're paying half, 250 each, and you're selling five. It's just the lack of knowledge, you know? Yeah. Oh, let's just do it. Yeah. 375. Yeah. It sounds good. Did I make the right decision? I still think given my lack of knowledge, that this was definitely a risky purchase. I'm gonna spend the next few hours going through all of these comics and I'm gonna let you know at the end of the episode exactly how I went with this allocation. While I'm going through the comic books, I wanna take you into Carrara Markets to show you what I was able to pick up the other day at the flea market. Got four here. Would you do four for ten? Yeah, done. I'll just go draw some money out, but I'll leave them with you. Okay. I'll be two seconds. Okay, done. Thank you. These are pretty wild. Yeah, bro. What are they? Yeah, um, they're the KD Thunder. Um, yeah. Oh, are they really? Yeah, they're rare. Are they ever? What are you trying to move them for? Well, I'm trying to get a, at least a hundred. hundred bucks? What are they worth, do you reckon? They're worth about four, five hundred. Are they really? Well, it's after, if you had seasons one and two of this, but you wouldn't know, would you? Wouldn't have a clue in the home. Yeah, it's just whatever's in there, isn't there? They're a dollar each, are they? Yeah, yep. All right, well, I might put them to the side. Yeah. How'd you go? Ah, good, mate. I've got a total of five there. Yep, they are. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Epic, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. How much on the console, mate? Uh, I've got 60 on the console. Is it um, in working order, do you know? It is in working order. It is? To the point I was using it last night. Oh, you were? The cords hooked up to the TV. That's why I'm only going 60 on it. Oh, so no cords? No. So okay. it's just a HDMA cable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. But yeah, I'm, I'm and it's just, a, it's just a HDMI that's required, isn't it? Yeah, HDMI and a phone. Like Samsung. That's oh, the exact Samsung cord. Yeah. Samsung, okay. So they're the most basic cords you can get. Yeah, yeah so they're common yeah. to find. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Would you do 40? Uh, 50? Uh, Go on, I'll do 50. 50 bucks? Yeah. All right, let's do that. I'll do 50. Yeah, wouldn't have a bag by any chance, would you? Maybe. Great, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. You too. Yeah. While I was at the flea, I also took the opportunity to go and check out Mixbox Trading. I'd never been to this little market stall, and to be honest, he's got some really cool stuff in here. I had a bit of a pick, and I didn't find any cameras. It's not something that I'm focusing too heavily on, but geez, he had a lot. All the Funko Pops, I could have easily spent a bit of time sifting through all of those. He didn't have a lot of value in his video games, but there was some really good DVD box sets. This Smallville collection, for $19, that's pretty good value. I ended up leaving it behind, though. It was missing season 10. Uh, this video recorder, some video vintage video recorders. That was just cool to see. Uh, I did grab this though, uh, Supergirl. Now I've got five copies out of a total of six seasons that I need for a complete set, but there will be some money in there buying them for $14. And then I saw all of these vintage hats up on the wall and I ended up picking this one up. This was a vintage Bundaberg rum hat. Now they go for about $70 to $75 and I picked this one up for $15. So there's some, it should be some really good profit in that. And this wild turkey hat was the other one that I was curious on. It was $15. 
I think I probably could have turned it into maybe 40, 45. There are some really good collectors out there that would want this one. But in the end, I took the Supergirl DVDs and the Bundy hat and I spent $29. Make sure you go and say hello to Luke at Mixbox Trading. If you're ever on the Gold Coast, he's at Carrara Markets and he's got an awesome store, as you saw there. Guys, I'm still working through all of these comic books. It's a bit of a timely process, but I am enjoying learning a new category. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers before Christmas, so if you get to hit that little red button, go ahead and do so. It'd be awesome to have you on board. All we do is talk about how to sell on eBay on this channel, flea markets, garage sales, and what you're about to see next is some thrift stores. I've got some really cool finds from yesterday. I want to show you it, and then I'm going to show you these comic books. If you follow this channel for any length of time, you'll know just how much I love selling my hats on eBay. I've found a huge allocation in a $2 bin here. Check this out. We've got the Corona Extra WSL, the Ruka RVCA hat here as well. This Vans hat was probably my favorite out of the bunch, and that was completely genuine. I might even be able to get about 35 for that one. The Hip Hip Hooray second birthday hat. I'm going to give that one to a friend. I thought that was really cool. And then the Gold Coast Blaze. Well, they don't compete in the NBL basketball anymore, so I'm going to buy that for a bit of novelty. Uh, Stereo Sonic, I left that behind, and we're finished it off here with two golf hats. The golf category sells really well. This one here should go for about $30, $35 as well. And then the Nike hat too. I'm going to say $30 a piece for every single hat. That's $210 worth of value. And I paid just the $14. So I moved into the DVDs, guys, and I picked this one up. It was only $13, sea change. It's a rare DVD series. Do look out for it. I've been able to convert that pretty much into about $80 odd. So guys, $300 worth of value. I just paid $27. Pretty good little run there, guys, in the flea and in the thrift. It should all go on to make a couple of hundred dollars worth of profit, which I'm pretty excited about. Now, all of these comics, I've gone through them, and my goodness, have I learned some information. All about variants, which is just the different cover arts associated to the comic. First appearances, I've learned, is a real big thing with regards to the character showing on the cover for the very first time. Um, and then also condition as well, I've realized, is incredibly important when it comes to comics. Fortunately, that was a consideration that I made when I was in the op shop, or sorry, the pawn shop, uh, was the condition was pretty good. The edges looked really good. There wasn't too much dirt on the back cover. Um, they look great. So I wouldn't say they're mint by any means, but the condition was at least good. So I think that's going to help the resale value of these. I've sifted through everything. I've allocated them all out. I've got some footage here for you, so let's go through it. The first thing that I want to have a bit of a chat to you about is this one right here, the World War Hulk series. Now, there's I'll put a... A list of titles up here for you but i was going through and i was trying to sort of group them into these titles and we've done we've done pretty well with the collection i've got so heroes of heroes for hire i think we were just missing one out of that little set um the gamma corpse we've got every single one of those the front line we've got every one of those but they're only worth about 20 bucks a piece but that's about 40 dollars worth of value there uh we're missing about two in the incredible hulk series uh, so that's okay. Um, the Ghost Rider, this set, there was comps on eBay going for about $90 for these two here. There was only two in the Ghost Rider collection. So to have both of those in really good condition was awesome to see. Um, this one here as well, the Avengers, that was a complete set. So that's good as well. Uh, we've got this one here, the Punisher War Journal edition of uh, World War Hulk. So that was good as well. And then a couple of cheapies here that aren't worth too much as well. So my, my anticipation or thoughts is to go ahead and list all of this in one allocation. Just a World War Hulk bundled lot. Let me know what your thoughts are. There's obviously gonna be a really good amount of money coming out of these two here. I'm gonna go for about 80 bucks worth of value there. Uh, say 20 and 20, so maybe 120. And then all of this, mm, I might go $150 for all of that. The next allocation was from Dynamite Comics, and this one is The Boys. I've actually got seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. So. Comps on eBay, I should be able to get anywhere between sort of $40 to $45 for this allocation here. And as you can see, they're all in excellent condition as well. So that was a really good find that I didn't see when I was in the pawn shop. Now I've laid all the rest out as you can see here, and I've just grouped them as you can see as well. So there's some good value in a few of these. I think pretty much what you're looking at here is pretty much $10 a piece for any particular bundle. Like the, Pun uh, the Punisher here, I've got the movie adaptation. Uh, there were two copies out of three that I've got here. I'm just missing copy number two. Uh, but I should be able to get about $20 for those two there. Um, this one here as well, I've got a, a really good allocation of consecutive copies here uh, for World... Uh, that's just a World War Hulk, but this initiative allocation, there's quite a number of them in there. And I should be able to get about $30 for that lot there. War Machine, a very similar story. Some really good consecutive sets in here as well. 
I should be able to get about 20 bucks for that allocation. So most of the allocations here, I should be able to get $20 a piece. So I'm thinking a good couple of hundred dollars worth of value in this allocation. I'm pretty happy about it. You gotta remember that I paid just $2.50 for every single one of these comics. So I think when it's all said and done, I'm gonna go on to make quite a few dollars. I've got even more confidence in saying that in the fact that I've already gone ahead and listed a few of these items up and I've actually already had two sales come through. The first one was Hulk, the Frontline Series. Now I did mention in that little clip that I might go ahead and do the full World War Hulk bundle done as a bit of an allotment, but I thought, look, if you spend a bit more time and you do them up individually, you might make a few more dollars from it. We got a $25 same day sale, and I was actually really happy to see a same day sale come through because I haven't sold the category before. I didn't know what the sell through rate would be. So to see it come through on the same day was just really cool. Gave me a bit of confidence in the rest of them. And then I had the best of the bunch going to sell, which was just today. And I've still got it here. I haven't shipped it out yet. We've got Planet Hulk, the What If featuring. Now I think this was a first appearance which was the reason why this one was worth so much money. I'm taking very, very good care of it. It's gonna go in a plastic bag, well, not a plastic bag, but a little sleeve uh, with some bubble wrap and then go into a box. And I'm really gonna try and make sure it gets there in perfect nick. Um, so that one sold for $125. And it was a US copy, they're all US comics, which is telling me that I think a lot of them are gonna go over there as much as they might be sold here locally as well. So the international shipping is on at 20 bucks. 125 for that one there, plus 20 in postage, $145 worth of revenue. So I think right there, it just tells me that this purchase today for $375 has been a good one. It wasn't the only pawn shop purchase that I've made that I've had really good success with. I made a video right here about another pawn shop buy that turned into some huge profits. So go and check that one out. Appreciate you being here for this one.